Ciao a tutti. Hi everybody. Uh, it's Nazareno here. Here. Uh, today I want to show you a really quick tutorial. Hopefully, really quick this time. Um, because after one day messing around with uh, Dust Studio, uh, I need to. I need for a. Um, a project to import uh, some characters from Dust Studio to Unreal, but I really wasn't able to find out uh, really nice, uh, well made tutorials or up to date tutorials about this. And uh, every time there was a lot of uh, messing around with materials and textures in particular uh, from Dust Studio characters into Unreal, so I decided to do this really 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 quick um, <coughs> live video to show you uh, the technique I find uh, uh, I found last last night um, and it seems uh, fine and it looks like working pretty nice and pretty fast so <coughs> sorry for this Let's play some background music and let's start. Let's start straight from the studio. So I just imported. Um, I just um, created a really simple character with, um, as you can see, Genesis 2 female. Um, but hopefully it works also with newer versions um, for some particular reasons for my project I needed to stick with the uh, Genesis 2 so I was testing intensively with uh, this kind of characters but it should not uh, be uh, a problem so just create a basic character um, And then um, we're gonna export it to Collada. So, 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 let me see. Do, do, do. Okay, <clears throat> just prepared the the folder for this. Let's call her um, Clara. So let's save Clara in. Uh, Collada, and then let's go to the settings. Uh, just two important things: uh, we will export the static mesh uh, from um, with the Collada, and the animations with uh, another FBX. So we don't care about animation in this step. The important thing is to check merge skeletons, so we have one unified skeleton for uh, the whole character and props we put on, on, the, on the character. And then the other essential thing to do is to merge materials by diffuse map. This will uh, create one single material for every diffuse map and not uh, uh, a bunch of uh, duplicated materials like uh, if we export directly in FBX. The rest looks fine, we can accept and quickly we will have our collada. Then um, let me check quickly if everything is okay yeah it looks fine to me so next we can uh, export this quick animation uh, I did just put into the, together a few animate blocks so remember to bake to bake this to the to the timeline before exporting because 
animate blocks uh, if not animate blocks are not uh, recorded to the to the skeleton so just go to zero just to be sure click in some white space around here and bake to studio keyframes this prompt will will say will tell us to that uh, now the controllers are switched to the dot dot studio timeline and it's totally fine for us so now we should have let's let's double check this just to be sure oops what's going on okay okay oops Now you see I deleted the blocks but the animation is still working because it's baked to that studio timeline. Now we are ready to export this in FBX this time. So this will be <coughs> Clara animation. Uh, figures, animations and morphs but in this time this time probably it's not needed um, I will select not like usually FBX 2014 but 2013 just to be sure because you will see in the next step why I, I will do this I, I did I do this uh, we don't need textures we don't need to merge diffuse or other stuff because the mesh, the skeleton and materials and textures are already in the collada we already exported. Super important is to merge clothing uh, into figure skeleton. So like before for the collada, we will have one unified skeleton exported. And then I usually uh, leave checked these two, but I really don't uh, don't know what 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 they actually do. Um, just we are fine like this. We can export the FBX. Just a few seconds for the animation to be ready. And then we can leave that studio and we can open FBX Converter 2013. That's why. I just exported FBX 2013 uh, version and not the 14 version just to be completely sure for, of the communication of the two FBX we will import in Unreal. Now the uh, simple step to do is to come here, load our Clara uh, from uh, uh, that studio and export uh, the and convert it to FBX <clears throat> from Colada like you can see here to FBX 2013 uh, no embed made needed because Oh right, no, no. Why not? Binary, it's okay. So embed media checked. Binary, it's okay. And and okay. Oh. It was fast. That was fast. That was fast. Okay, we have it. So. Now we have two FBX. Just make clear folder here in Unreal. Import the base mesh, so skeletal mesh, import the mesh, create a new skeleton and import materials and textures. Nothing so fancy, nothing strange. Let's 
let's wait a few seconds Okay, perfect. So as you can see, um, oh, I just forgot to not import animation. We can delete this one. As you can see, um, going from Colada straight from that studio and just convert it with uh, the F FBX converter, we have a really clean mesh. Uh, despite the result we would have if we exported directly the FBX from that studio. So we have just uh, the needed uh, materials, no duplicated textures, no duplicated materials, and straight from the box it looks pretty 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 good. <clears throat> Before going to the shading let's test the animation. So I will import the animation FBX. Uh, not going to import the, the mesh of course. The skeleton is already the Clara one. Uh, just we, we just imported. Everything looks fine. Import. And here we go. Let's check the animation. Looks pretty good. fluid really nice okay now just few um, few things to change to have uh, a really nice character we have to uh, a bit um, update the materials for the uh, airs and for the eyes so for the eyes it's pretty simple, I already prepared a couple of materials. I like to uh, use a translucent materials for the tears, so it keeps a little bit of uh, wet, wet eyes. And then for sake of uh, the tutorial to be quick and to not mess around too much with the eyes, I will just put a fully transparent material for the eye reflection and for the cornea but you can of course uh, play a little bit better with these two parameters and make the the eyes more alive and more reflectant now the the ears that were uh, were giving me a lot of pain and a lot of uh, embarrassment um, here in Unreal uh, actually it's pretty simple of course um, having a really well condensed material uh, makes the our life pretty easy and our uh, optimi optimization here in a real pretty fast first thing to do <clears throat> it's to open the the base material the scalp uh, sometimes it's called scalp material scalp uh, material uh, change the the blend mode from translucent to masked and switch the opacity from opacity to opacity mask and actually here it should be it we can apply and close Let's wait for the shaders to compile, and you will see the that bad 
looking uh, and weird looking uh, scalp uh, that was popping up from from the from the uh, from the airs it's not uh, it's not doing this bad behavior anymore now we have to take a look and uh, just a bit uh, arrange the the airs the actual airs so open the air material in this case we are okay with the <coughs> translucent blend mode it's perfect um, we just have to uh, enable two-sided material so we will see the the airs also in the other side of the of the airplanes meshes and then uh, the the only trick we need we just need to add two uh, components here a multiply node and um, a constant vector plug them in <clears throat> I usually use I found that a value of 3 it's it plays nice and then attach the multiply to the opacity in this way we are giving a little bit, a bit more strength to the to the opacity mask because I found out that the uh, original uh, opacity mask from uh, that studio characters it's a little bit it's a little bit uh, weak so just apply and then let's check if everything works fine it should be pretty nice And yes, looks pretty good. Oops, sorry for that. <clears throat> As you can see, really few steps, and we have a pretty nice Dalt Studio character into Unreal. So save everything, close this, and double check this crazy girl here let's add skylight intensify a bit and let's get the party started As you can see, really nice hairs. That was my main issue with those uh, characters. Really few steps, really easy ones. Animation is perfect. Of course, I didn't care about uh, foot position, but the animation is exactly the same one from that studio. And that's it. Um, I hope you like this uh, quick walkthrough. Uh, so this is for me the best, fastest and uh, really uh, clean way to export characters from that studio to Unreal Engine 4. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time guys. Peace.